Have you ever been curious what exactly does this USB port is doing at the back of your router? Well, there are actually seven amazing ways that will make your life very easy, very easy by using this. So actually those USB ports are super helpful to you. Well, keep watching till the end because the last one will actually help you out in emergency in your life. So make sure you watch the video till the end. Okay. Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Kaushal and you're watching Techu. So today we are going to talk about seven amazing ways through which you can use your router's USB port and make your life even more easier. Curious how to do it? Let's just start with the first one. So the first one is called wireless printed. Yes, it is actually possible to use your printer with your Wi-Fi router so that you can just access it from literally anywhere in the room. No matter how many devices you're on, you can access the printer through all your devices without actually physically connecting to the printer. So let's say if the router is present in your office and there are like multiple devices in there, so you can use just one printer and like access that printer through all the devices. It is actually very simple to do. You just have to connect your uh, printer to your router through the USB port and then just open the router panel and set up USB printing, an option would already be present over there, you just have to enable it. That's as easy as it gets. Now whenever you are connected to your router, just press the print button, it will automatically print whatever you want without any wires. So the next one is called Network Attached Storage or NAS, NAS. Yes, so basically through this you can connect your pen drive or your hard drive to your Wi-Fi router and access those files literally from any device that is connected to the router. It's very simple, you just have to connect your device to the Wi-Fi router and enable it again in the router Wi-Fi panel. Everything is present in your Wi-Fi panel, so if you want to know how to enable your Wi-Fi panel, very simple, just open CMD uh, from your Windows tab and over there just type IP config. So whatever the address that shows you network gateway, that's your Wi-Fi panel access. Now just log in into it, the default router password would be either admin admin or admin password. You can just log in into it easily and then access all the settings from there. It's as simple as that. Similarly, you can even use your Wi-Fi modem as a media server. So basically, you're, since you're already attaching your pen drive or hard drive to your Wi-Fi network, if you add videos or photos or whatever it is in it, and then if you connect your Wi-Fi network through your smart TV or something, you can actually play videos or like watch movies or play images or whatever it is that you want to see as a, it's a media server basically. That's what I'm telling to, trying to say. So the fourth one is that you can use it as a backup. So how many times has it happened to you that you delete some files and then later remember that you had to restore it or like a lot of things. You can actually use this as a daily backup software. So every day all your files would be backed up directly to your hard drive when it is connected to the Wi-Fi. You just have to go to your computer settings and enable the backup once the hard drive is connected to the router and that's it. Now all your files would be backed up directly to your Wi-Fi router so that you don't have to remember it to do it manually every time when you're doing something important. Yeah. See, I told you your life would be simpler. Many of the Kyoda tomorrow. To the Ram Nikla, the Umarus Nikla. So the next is you can actually use your Wi-Fi dongle with your router to like in increase its range or like make it accessible to much more devices. So if you have a Wi-Fi dongle, there are actually two ways that you can do. So the first is using your regular ISP's internet connection and whenever it is down or something, it will automatically serve as a backup internet. So just imagine that you're using your regular internet and sometimes your ISP has some issues and it is down for a couple of hours. At that time, your networking won't stop. It would just switch to the backup dongle that you have connected to your router. So if you want continuously uninterrupted access, then that is possible. Oh, hell yeah. And over that, you can even choose speed. So like your Wi-Fi modem would actually compare speeds of your ISP in a dongle. So if your dongle is higher speeds and it will switch to it so that it gives you the best experience that is actually possible. So the next thing that you can do with your router's USB port is actually you can update your router's firmware. Very simple, you just have to go to your router's official website and check if a later version of your firmware is available or not. If it's available, download it, put it in your pen drive, attach it to your router and you're good to go. Again, you just have to access your router's panel and then just install the firmware from there. As simple as that. And now you can even make your router much more efficient than it's previously used to be because of the update. What's the planning? 
Now the last and the final and probably the most helpful one to you is actually you can do charging with your Wi-Fi router's port. Say yeah. So if there is ever an emergency and you're unable to find your mobile charger or like any charger for that matter, then you can easily connect to this USB port and charge small devices like your phone or your wireless earphones or whatever it is that you want to charge. So in emergencies, this will actually be very useful to you. So those were seven of my most helpful USB settings that you can use in your router. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite one and if you're going to use any of them from today or not. Okay, now smash that dislike button if you did not like this video and in case you actually liked it, you know what to do. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Kaushal. Peace out. That's good.